so boom. Here we are again, mate. I thought now would be a good time to make a video. Just uh, let you know what's going on. And yeah. <laughs> and I guess to apologise. Um, but yeah, so basically, fucking... I went to... Uh, well, I, I, well, for starters, for starters, I had a chilled day, right, I had a chilled day, and I went to the beach, come back from the beach, and I said I wanted to go swimming, now, the leisure centre have this thing where it's just like, go online for this, go online for that, and it's just, I hate, you just have to register for everything, and just give all your emo, and just fucking, excuse the fucking grey beanie, by the way, and my fucking busted lip, I literally, I fucking shaved my head, but I didn't use a mirror, and it's all patchy, so I need to sort of sort it out, <laughs> but yeah, anyway, I fucking, I ended up going to the spa, yeah, the hotel, and um, it's a tenner for the whole day, from nine o'clock in the, no, from eight o'clock in the morning till nine o'clock at night, right, and you get a gym session, the whole, like, gym, you get um, sauna, jacuzzi, and you get, um, the swim as well, all for the whole day for a tenner, which is great. Like, literally, I don't mind that at all. Day pass. So I went there, right, and then um, had the swim. Everything was fine. Like, it was chilled. Like, I spent the whole day there, and there was, like, kids in that in the pool. So every now and again, I'd get out and go for a fag or go for a spliff and then come back in. But, yeah, anyway, that was that. It was a good time. Left there. I'd picked up weed beforehand, so obviously I'd, I'd had smoke. And then... Like, I had this notion, obviously, in the back of my mind, I wanted to go to Scotland. But then just everyone was saying, oh, go to Scotland, blah, blah, blah. And uh, this is just random travellers, right? So I was like, okay, fine. And um, I was like, I'll check it out at some point. So I had this notion, I'd start from the top again and work my way down, right? And um, I originally was just going to jump the train and then I just left it too late because I ended up getting fish and chips, smoking more weed, going back to my accommodation and then just chilling out with this older couple. It was like in their 70s, both retired. One was retired from BBC Radio, one was a bass player, but a retired school teacher. And uh, yeah, so that was calm. Like, literally, I just spent the whole evening with them and sort of forgot about the whole idea of going to Scotland until about one in the morning. I was lying in bed, got a bit bored, and then caught the last coach to the airport, well, bus out of town, and then coach to the airport um, to uh, go to the airport and go to Scotland, right? Now, I booked everything last minute, and then the coach, National Express, that I booked originally never showed up. Alright, so I then had to get a stagecoach bus. So by this time it was like four in the morning. So I was just like, ugh, long. So anyway, got to the airport. I ended up flying to Scotland just to get in the train. Just because of just everything that just was just like, ugh. So I was just like, I'm definitely going to fucking fly. So I flew to Scotland, which was only an hour compared to the coach, which is 15 hours, I think. Or 16 hours. And then the train is six hours. So... Yeah, it was only an hour, so I flew to Scotland, landed at Edinburgh. Ended up going to Edinburgh, right? And it was sick, made a whole vlog of it, like, literally, it was it was alright. Like, it was, Edinburgh is dead, but Glasgow was a little bit better. I literally met a fucking subscriber as well, shout out Alan. I literally met up with Alan, that was sick. And, uh, yeah, so, that was that, and then come back here, yeah, and then just obviously had this notion of, like, just getting a bit... Like, ugh, like, do you know what I mean? Ugh. And, like, I got stopped by the police, yeah, six times while I was there. Six times. I've never been stopped by the police in my life, like, literally, ever. Like, I know, that like, people say, oh, black people stop and search, blah, blah. I mean, the police are more harsh on me when they do catch me for something or they arrest me for something. But I've never had a police officer just randomly just stop and search me, like, randomly. Like, I, they treat me differently because I'm black. Yes, if they think I've done something, or if they're arresting me, but never just for them to assume, or even if I'm smoking weed, they'd be like, oh, we're going to search you for weed. Like, I've never had that, like, ever had that. So for me to be having this now in Scotland was just real trippy, and it just really pissing me off, like, it was really pissing me off. And I just get angry with the old Bill when they start doing these tactics, yeah, because 
the police like in Scotland, yeah, they're called sort of the same, the same, the same over, like police Scotland, they're called. And it's just like, oh, like, oh, they just get involved in your business too much for no reason, like literally just for no reason. And it's just like, why? Like, why? Like, what's the point? Like, and then you'll you you get chopsy to them, yeah, and you'll be like, what, so you're going to arrest me then? Like, you're just going to arrest me? They'll be like, oh, no one's getting arrested, we're just speaking to you. It's like, well, why? Ugh, you're not speaking, are you just chatting shit, and you're just waiting for me to do something, and then you can arrest me. But if you're not going to arrest me, why are you fucking talking to me in the first place? Go fucking, do you know what I mean? They're just so busy. Like, it's just, it's just like... What do you mean? Like, how have you got this much time? And how have, like, that's what I mean. The government have got fuck all money, yeah. And they waste all their oil money on fucking wars and shit. Yeah, rather than actually building it into their fucking people. But yeah, for whatever reason, the police in Scotland, they've got so much money. And they just got fucking time. I got stopped by British Transport Police three times. I got stopped by plainclothes police twice, once. And I got stopped by normal police fucking twice. Brother, it's just, it's too much, mate. It's just like, why? Like, go away, and it's all for just random stupid things, like, oh, we're just in the area, there's been a report, and blah, someone texts me to the British Transport Police as well, like, I don't know, it's just like, it's too much, do you know how fucking, like, I, I'm not sneaky, yeah, but I always think I'm not, I'm not a bait person, I'm not a bait person, I just, I'm not rowdy or rude or unruly, I just go do things, do what I need to do and go, but someone texts the British Transport Police, and do you know how fucking sketchy it is, yeah, to be sitting on a train, and just to be doing your own thing, yeah, I was making a video, I was speaking, nothing bad, I was just speaking, and then when you get off the train, at the end, there's four police officers, all geared up, just waiting for you specifically, like, <sighs> fucks with your head, bro, fucks with your head, I don't like it, it makes me not want to trust people, anyway, I don't trust people, but it's a prime example, even more, it's like, bro, how brainwashed are people, yeah, that they sat and saw me, yeah, and like, I was just pissed off because basically I got a fat lip. I was hit by a car. That's why I was angry, right? So I was on the train making a video ranting. And then fucking, yeah, mate. Like, literally, I got fucking hit by a car, yeah. Fucking busted up my fucking knees. Fucking busted all my mouth. And then, so I was just pissed off about it. Yeah, I was pissed off about it. And then they fucking texted the transport police. They know I was a guy, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, what are you talking about, mate? Like, what are you talking about? Like, how, like, if you was that concerned, yeah, why do you not just come up to me and just say, oh, what happened, are you alright, like, rather than just let me talk to myself and then say I'm crazy and tell the police, like, what's the point, like, what's the point, <laughs> that's what I mean about people, they're stupid, but I bet if I had them on Facebook, they would have sent me a message, hi, <laughs> and this is why I get so antsy, mate, like, I know, obviously, yeah, fine, sort your head out, but it's just like, this is why I get so antsy about life, but it's like, People are not logical, mate. And yeah, okay, I get it. I can be a bit fucking... Do you know what I mean? But it's just like... Uh, it's not like I'm, I'm not fucking speaking sense. Like. So anyway, that happened. And uh, yeah, I, that was just on a night when I went to back to Glasgow because Edinburgh was dead, as I said. I kept getting stopped by the police. Like, everyone just kept thought I was a police. I couldn't pick up weed as well. That was another thing. Like, I couldn't pick up weed. It was just fucking weird, bruv. It was really weird. Anyone I would ask, they just think I'm a police officer. And it's like, yeah, the police officer think I'm a dealer. I just think I couldn't cope, mate. I just couldn't fucking cope with it. <laughs> but literally, it's just like, oh, mate. I smoked half a joint in the whole time I was there. I only lasted four days. <laughs> I literally only lasted four days. I was still supposed to be there now, but then, oh yeah, fucking, I lost my phone as well, so that was another thing that just fucking pissed me off, which is why I've now got a new phone, and then I fucking lost all my videos because I lost my phone, which is now, yeah, sorry, that's the whole reason why you haven't got a video of all of this, because, and I, I made all of this as a video, but I just fucking, yeah, lost my phone, so I, as you can imagine, I was even more pissed off when I got back, so I was just like, fuck it, I'm leaving this fucking place, like, literally. So, yeah, I don't fucking deny that people are probably all right, but just for me, it's just, no, nah, it's not the one, mate, it's not the one. I'll go back there again, but if I do, I'll just go to the wilderness, bruv. <laughs> like, literally, I'll just go to the wilderness. Because there's nice sceneries, like, it's nice scenery place, but it's a scenic place. But it's just like, oh, mate, it's just weird, bruv. It's just a strange place, like, it's just strange.
but it's all the experience, mate. It's all the experience. So that's what I'm not like. Or, do you know what I mean? But yeah, mate, I just fucking, oh, mate, the whole fucking. Like, everything was going smoothly, yeah. But it's just like, yeah, I don't know. Because, like, basically, yeah, I find that it's good to have money, yeah. It's good to have money. But at the same time, like, a lot of people say to me, oh, why do you travel with no money? Why don't you book accommodation and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, I'm not saying that things don't happen. Bad things can't happen if I don't have money. But when I have money, yeah, you book accommodation. So therefore, you're forced to stay in that accommodation. You're forced to be back by a certain time because you know you've got to make use of that accommodation because you've booked it. And it's just like, I don't know, it's just, it's a waste. Like, do you know what I mean? It's a waste. Whereas if you just, as and when, like two days at a time or a day at a time, like, it's just a lot more free and more liquid. So you can bounce about and you can avoid certain situations because you're never in a certain place for too long. But yeah. That really pissed me off because I had my memory card from my GoPro as well because obviously I was made a massive video so I had to put the, the memory card in the phone and I never do that and I always say to myself don't ever do that again because that's what happened last time I put my memory card in the phone and I got fucking smashed in the head with a fucking bit of wood and a nail and um, yeah my phone was actually robbed and it's not even a fact of a smartphone it's just the fact of my videos because I've been robbed from my brick phones before because people thought I was shot in the end so <laughs> oh man Literally, but I've got a new phone now, so it's fine. Like, literally, it's okay, and hopefully, the camera quality is still okay. Yeah, because otherwise, I'd just be recording live streams on my laptop, and it's proper grainy. You'd think I'm in fucking Afghanistan. <sighs> but it's all good, mate. I literally, it's all good. <sighs> Place back in England. Reading Festival is supposed to be happening on Friday it starts. So I don't know if it's still on, but if it is I'll be going. No, literally I'll be going. Mm. Yeah, it was a bit of a fucked mission, mate. But it was good, like I said, it was an experience regardless, because now I know what it's like. But literally now I know what it's like and I don't have to keep saying oh, I want to try, I want to try because I know now <coughs> like, literally I know like I was told but now I've seen it for myself like I've seen it for myself <laughs> so yeah no regrets and all that but fucking hell mate it's a bit of a piss take <laughs> it's just like I just want my videos back bro like, literally I just want my videos back somewhere out there is just shit tons of my videos just like floating in the atmosphere <coughs> I know if I would give a, a subject access request it would make for a really really funny movie, like literally, adventurous, <laughs> like literally, not just writing a script or using like diary entries and then putting that into like screen, if you actually used in order CCTV footage of your life, like just all in like spliced up in a film, <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to roll a spliff and I'll continue. So it's just stay blessed for now. And we're back.
enjoying this glyph mate a little bit too much it's my last one as well but I have been going out without weed thanks to Scotland <laughs> it's given me a nice tolerance break But yeah, next up, Reading. <laughs> Not that Reading has anything to offer other than the festival and the train station. That's the only reason I'd go there. It's for the train station. Because the train station is fucking... Pff, it's mental, mate. You can literally go anywhere you want. Uh, it's all good, man. <laughs> I live to tell the tale. <laughs> I just apologise, I don't have a sick video for you, but it's just one of them things. <laughs> and uh, I can avoid these things sometimes. I'm uh, very reckless with my behaviour. And uh, yeah. So when I come on and I make a video, explaining this story yeah okay i've made a video out of the story but it was reckless because yeah i'm really trying to uh make more videos and yeah just share actual videos of when i'm out rather than just being out and not sharing and getting into this little bubble of like everyone hates me and i'm not good enough <laughs> and trying to br bounce out of that and obviously I had that little switch off in my mindset and then I went off to town on the train, fucking. I did bunk the train, fucking. Got into the city centre, fucking. Went out and uh, met a group of people and they were alright at first and then, yeah, it just went downhill. Lost my phone. And then I uh, ended up at a random house. I didn't know. Fucking left that house. Because I had an argument with one of the guys at that house because he wanted to fuck this girl. And yeah, I was just in the way, basically. <laughs> but the girl was chatting to me, bro. It's not like I was like, that's the thing, yeah. That always happens to me. And it's not like, oh, I'm this. But girls would chat to me, yeah. Like, I can hold a conversation, do you know what I mean? Without having to mention sex. Whereas that's where some guys lose out in it. Because straight away they just want in it for the sex and that's it. Whereas me, that's, I've got a right hand, mate. You need to have a conversation with me first. Like, do you know what I mean? That's another thing that annoys me. Girls, I think they're super special. Like, do you know what I mean? You'll be walking down the street and you just ask them a random question or you're just asking for some information. And they just all standoffish. And, oh, you can't get my number and all of this. Or you'll be with a friend and in a group if you're out. And, oh, no, you can't get my number. And, oh, I've got a boy. It's like, fuck off. You're not that special. What is it? What are girls watching nowadays here yeah, that makes them think they're so special that every guy wants them? Like, who's telling them this? Anyway. That happened. We end up fucking having an argument in the house. I left because obviously it wasn't my house and I'm not a prick, so I'm not going to run somebody else's house. And then, yeah, walked out, fucking walked down the street. Fucking got on a bus. I didn't have a ticket, so I just fucking walked to the back, sat down. 
obviously it's just fucking Glasgow, so people weren't having that. <laughs> they all got rowdy. Bus driver kicked everyone off the bus when it was packed. So they're all standing at the side of the road. It's like seven in the morning now, so everyone's just pissed off. And then um Yeah, so I I I felt bad because everyone's just having to go at me, but then having to go to the bus driver saying, Why can't we just carry on? And then um yeah, fucking I get off the bus and walk off the bus in a piss straight into oncoming traffic and get hit by a car, mate. <laughs> fucking bang, straight on the bonnet. Fucking took out my knees, fucking splat out. Fucking, oh my God. Lip fucking face pint on the fucking. Yeah, fucking <laughs> rolled off this taxi. Taxi driver just drives away. Fucking, everyone just gets back on the bus. Fucking, oh mate, the old Bill turned up. Fucking, these nurses are walking by. They Fortunately, they stay with me. And like I was getting chops with the old bill because I thought they were just going to fucking nick me for some stupid name. In the end, they just took me to the fucking police station, fucking questioned me, said, what happened? I said, nothing. I just had to argue at someone's house, walked out, got on the bus, got off the bus, then fucking, they was like, all right, okay, let me go. Fucking got on another bus, <laughs> fucking got to the fucking train station, fucking went back to fucking Edinburgh, collected my fucking rucksack, and fucking went to the airport, mate. Fucking fucked off back to England. <laughs> After that, I was so pissed off, and especially as I'd lost my phone and all my videos, I just wasn't in the mood. Like, it just wasn't in the mood. Yeah, I had originally planned to stay until Sunday, but, yeah, I just, yeah, man, I just, like I said, the switch just went off in my head of just fucking find a motive, and like, yeah, I just pushed it too hard, I literally, there was just a certain point in the evening, I just pushed it a little bit too hard, and just, it was just destined to go downhill from there, and I know this, I know this, and then these still, things still happen, so it's just like, do you know what I mean, it's a little bit of like, you're a dickhead, really, like, you're a dickhead. And then I get upset about it, but it's like, well, do you know what I mean? You knew when it was going wrong and you decided to stay in the situation, so what do you expect? Anyway, I'm just going to give you this little quick video and I'll continue on. But literally, I will be out and about, so yeah. <laughs> and I have still got my GoPro. Fortunately, I've still got my fucking GoPro. I haven't lost that, so I can always make my fucking... But I make loads of fucking... Oh, mate, alright. It's alright, that's right. what I mean, that's what I've been doing. Just thinking about everything, but it's alright, it's fine. <laughs> it's okay, it's just one of them ones. So like I said, it was me and fault, so... Anyway, say for all your positive feedback and your continued support, and uh, yeah, I, I I appreciate your your patience, but we will get there. I promise we'll get there, and your support is um, forever appreciated and it's felt and heard. So yeah. Anyway, stay blessed. Stay lean.